This makes a narcissist not want to date you. When a narcissist is getting to know you, there are certain things that will make them not want to date you. There are certain things that will make them want to stay far away from you. And one of those main things are your boundaries, your conceptual limits, that are between you and them. Your knowledge and awareness of where you end and where they begin. To where you know what's yours and what's not. Because you acknowledge that every adult is responsible for themselves. So that you can protect your own well-being, values and sense of self. If you have boundaries if you're able to use the word no, then narcissists will typically not want to date you because they do not like separation. They want enmeshment to where your personal boundaries are permeable and unclear and you're emotionally reactive to each other and wholly intertwined in an unhealthy way because they thrive in these types of environments where they can get whatever they want from you while not reciprocating anything back to you other than their problems, emotional baggage and trauma which they will expect you to take responsibility for because otherwise they're not going to want anything to do with you. Why would they want to be involved with someone who is inevitably going to reject them? someone who is going to make them feel less than a real person because they will not respect your personal boundaries which means that they do not have their own values or sense of self it means that they lack the perception of their own characteristics which is why they typically take yours from you and project their own insecurities onto you and it's why all you have to do to defeat a narcissist is to set boundaries because they cannot survive without latching onto people, without sucking them dry. So if you have boundaries or you say the word no, they are not going to want to date you and they will just leave on their own because they're not going to want to deal with it. When they could find someone else who doesn't have any boundaries, which is what they feel more comfortable with. Because then it minimizes the risk of rejection It means that they can treat that person however they choose to. While with you, they're going to feel rejected because it hurts them every time you say no. But saying no is the best thing you can do because even though they may love bomb you, they're only going to end up abusing you later on. Which is why if most people had a crystal ball when they're dealing with these types of people, regardless of how attractive they are or how much money they have. Most people would probably not get involved with them because it's not worth all of the abuse that they're going to experience later on. And most people do regret it. They feel sad and disappointed about the mistake of dealing with a narcissist. They wish they had never got involved. They wish that it could have been different and better because these people just aren't worth it. They're not worth the effort. They will only disappoint you in the end. They will fail to fulfill your hopes and expectations because they can't even take care of themselves. They can't even manage their own lives. And that's what they're bringing into the relationship. So they're only going to end up letting you down. And you're going to be left feeling dissatisfied and unhappy. Because they're not going to be as good as you hoped or expected. 
they're not going to be as good as they led you to believe. And it's not just you. They're no good for anyone. They're not even any good for themselves. And this is why they hate being alone. They love being around other people. Because then they get benefits. From being around other people who don't say no. Other people who don't have healthy boundaries. And then they feel like they've won. But when they're having to deal with someone who has boundaries, they feel rejected. They feel like they have lost. Which is why they also don't like being around people who are close with their family. People who have a support system. Especially if they are people who have an influence on you and they're people that you listen to. Narcissists hate that because they want to be your only source of influence. They want to be the only person that you listen to. So they hate it when you have a good support system because they're worried about their reputation. And it's a lot of work for them to manipulate multiple people. So they want to find a way to isolate you. They want to get you all to themselves so that they can manipulate you and become your only source of influence and then they can do whatever they want to you and gaslight you because then you have no one else to depend on you have no one who is there for you which is exactly what they want they thrive with people who lack healthy boundaries and don't have a support system because those people don't have anyone else to depend on which is why it's very important to have boundaries and it's very important to have a support system. Because then you have other people there to protect you. You have other people who may see things that you don't see. Who may tell you that they don't like something about this person. Or that they think something about them is strange. Which is why narcissists hate it when you have family or friends. They're not going to target someone like that. And they're not going to target people with healthy boundaries or good support systems. Unless they can find a way to isolate you away from it. Another thing that will make a narcissist not want to date you is when you prioritize emotional depth or a genuine connection. Because narcissists at their core lack emotional and social maturity. They prioritize their own needs, desires and self-image above everything else. Their self-centeredness inhibits their ability to genuinely connect with anyone on an emotional level. Which results in a significant deficit of empathy. They do not want to be vulnerable. They fear vulnerability. Because when they experience it, they are feeling the emotional pain they had to experience when they were abused as children. Which is why whenever a narcissist is vulnerable, it's because they're triggered. And this results in a narcissistic injury and rage. Because they experience an emotional flashback of their childhood. At a time where they felt powerless and out of control. Which is why they will not be vulnerable. And while they may want to know everything about you. They will not reveal much about their lives. Because there are a lot of things that happened in their childhood. And although they may not know that they have a disorder. They understand that it may expose something about their mental condition. So they will keep that hidden from you. And they may also not reveal anything about their private life. To minimize the risk of rejection. Because you may have certain deal breakers. There are certain things that you may not be willing to accept. Such as them being divorced or having children. And some of them may be still married to someone. 
So the less information they reveal to you, the better it is for them. Which is why most narcissists tend to adopt the covert personality style. Because if you were to know the full scope of who they are, their childhood, and all of the lives that they ruined before you, then you might think twice about dating them. While when they limit this information, they're able to project a more idealized image of themselves. So it enhances their manipulation. While an overt narcissist will constantly talk about their lives, they will brag and boast about their accomplishments and their wonderful childhood because they see it as though that's more likely to win you over. But covert narcissists will want to avoid answering questions. They're not going to talk much about themselves. Other than how someone victimized them or how they were hard done by. All in all, narcissists hate people who stand up for themselves. They hate people who are too assertive. They hate people who set boundaries and advocate for their own needs. They hate people who say no. They hate people who take their time when they're making a decision. They hate anyone who has conflicting views. People who stand up for themselves. People who are not easily influenced by them. Or people who have a forceful and independent mind. They like people who just go with the flow. People who move along with their prevailing forces and trends. Rather than people who strike out in new directions. Or people who have their own mind about things. Because they do not like those types of people. It's incredibly irritating and frustrating for them. It arouses their displeasure, impatience and anger. Because they're very rigid and inflexible. They're maladaptive, so they're not going to adapt to you. They will expect you to change everything about yourself and your life and adapt to them. They will expect you to do what they want you to do. They will expect you to listen to them and follow their lead to where you will have to submit to them and be their slave. They will not let you be you. If they can't change you, if they can't mold you into who they want you to be, then they will avoid you because they will expect you to take a huge risk to be with them. They will expect you to change everything about your life because they want enmeshment they want to use and abuse you and derive a sense of self from you. They want to rob you of your characteristics so that they can be you. But if you don't give them the opportunity to do that, then they're not going to want to date you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.